So you make an appointment with a, a personal injury firm. Uh, hopefully it's a board certified civil trial lawyer so you get the most bang for your buck. And you're, you know, the night before and you're trying to figure out what you need to bring to the appointment. A lot of people are like, you know, what am I supposed to bring to this lawyer's office, right? Well, the kind of things we're looking for typically, first of all, we try to get, even before the first meeting, all the pictures you possibly could have related to the wreck. Pictures of injuries, pictures of the cars, both cars involved, or all three cars, or however many cars are involved. Cars, uh, pictures of the inside of the car, where your body was, if you broke something in the dashboard, if your, um, if your arm hit the, hit the center console and, and broke a piece of the plastic or whatever. We want pictures of that. If, you're, if the seat belt made a mark across your chest, we want pictures of the bruising. If you have other marks on your body, we want pictures of them because a lot of that stuff doesn't stay around. Um, we want your health insurance information if you have it. Bring the actual card itself because we actually have to look at the back of the card to send a letter to those people and we have to have that address. Uh, your driver's license is important. Obviously, we want to make sure it's current and up to date and we like to keep a copy of it in the file. Um, the rec report, or the ex most people don't have the rec report, they have the driver's exchange of information form, which is the document you get at the scene of the wreck from the officer. They print it actually in their vehicle. So you're going to bring that form uh, or the rec report if you have that. You're going to bring your health insurance information, and you're going to bring all the pictures you ever could have had related to this. Now, a lot of people show up with the ER records. That's not as important because we're going to have to get official copies of all the medical records from the actual hospital itself. The only time I do like to see the medical records is if you have a significant fracture or something significant and the doctor actually writes down on the discharge paperwork the diagnosis because sometimes that diagnosis piece of paper can be used pretty quickly in the process to get um, insurance information and, and, and it might help to get the case settled even faster. Um, so. Um, the stack of stuff they give you though, I've seen prescriptions, I've seen, you know, stacks of just like miscellaneous like instructions on how to take care of your injuries. We don't need all that stuff. Um, the most we need is just any document that says where, where the doctor says you need to go next, which is a referral form, and so that same sheet usually has a diagnosis on it, so sometimes that would be helpful if it's not some, if it's some kind of, um, specific diagnosis that's not a, a typical kind of cervical strain, back strain kind of deal. But you don't need a lot when you come. Most people have all this on their phone anyway. Um, but, but remember, uh, bring what you can on this list of stuff that I just gave you. And um, these days we're doing a lot of Zoom and a lot of um, virtual meetings, so it makes it a little bit easier. And all this stuff is traded via email. But in the event that you're doing an in-person meeting, make sure you, you do bring this stuff. If you have questions about this or any other personal injury or motor vehicle accident question, you can find us on the web at zarzerlaw.com or you can call us at 855-HIRE-JOE. Thank you.